It's not even an exaggeration. Drones are pretty much everywhere nowadays. They can be used for anything, from surveillance, rescue operations, to movie making and other casual hobbies. These flying contraptions continue to change our lives. And who knows, in the future, they might be used by almost everyone. You don't need to be tech savvy to control them, so there are already many people out there flying their drones. And sometimes they capture some pretty interesting clips. From a drone lifting a man to a mysterious creature, here are 15 weird things caught on camera by a drone. Number 15. Drone lifting a man. One of the things that people are looking forward to about drones is that someday they can be used to deliver things. Just imagine all your packages being delivered by a drone. Some people even do it today. They use their drones to deliver food, coffee, money, and letters. There are even some medical facilities today that use drones to deliver first aid. After all, these creations are tiny and they arrive faster. Don't ask me about the logistics though. That's something people in the future will think about. Anyway, just take a look at this man. He just really let himself be lifted by a huge drone. No harness, no nothing. He just held on to the drone and let the thing lift him off the ground. I really wouldn't trust my friends to operate the drone if we're doing this, but this looks kind of fun. Most drones are lightweight and they can't carry much, but there are some professional drones out there that can carry as much as 500 pounds of payload. Imagine the possibilities. But if you plan on doing the stunt that this guy did, then you should get ready to have sore arms. My question is, given the chance, would you even dare to try this thing out? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Pink Lake Now who's ready for a cotton candy lake? This is Lake Hillier, more popularly known as the Pink Lake. This remote lake is located on Middle Island off the southern coast of Western Australia. Lake Hillier is only about 600 meters in length, but despite its size, its color is enough to leave you in awe. The lake is more amazing to look at from a bird's eye view because it's right next to the blue waters of the Pacific Ocean. The contrast between the two bodies of water is a marvel to look at. From afar, you would think that this is a lake from Willy Wonka's factory because of its strawberry milk-colored water but Lake Hillier gets its color from something else. It was a mystery for a very long time, but after years of research, we now know that it's caused by a mix of colorful bacteria and algae. More specifically, it's because of the presence of Dunaliella salina microalgae. These tiny organisms produce carotenoids, a pigment found in carrots. Additionally, there's also bacteria in the water that cause the pink color. Most people would expect the water from a lake to not be salty, but Hillier Lake is a bit different. You see, it's filled with salt and sodium bicarbonate, which means it has very high salinity. In fact, it has a high salt content that until several years ago, people used to mine salt from the lake. Number 13. Bear Chases Drone Okay, before I show you this clip, how knowledgeable are you about black bears? I guess it's common knowledge that these creatures can be pretty ferocious. There are about 750,000 black bears in North America, and they kill less than one person each year on average. Now, that's not really a terrifying statistic, but trust me, these guys can injure someone, especially when they're really mad. What was it that they used to say? Let sleeping dogs lie? Well, you should also let black bears eat in peace, or else they might decide that your drone is better for lunch, until they realize that tech isn't appetizing at all. But by then, your precious drone is already torn to pieces. This man saw a bear snacking on a freshly caught fish and decided to film the bear while eating. But I guess the fella didn't agree on filming a mukbang with a drone operator, so he chased the drone away. While the bear was too busy running after the drone, a bird in the background, ever the opportunist, took away a piece of the dead fish. Huh, maybe the drone and the bird are accomplices. Maybe. At least the bird got a snack out of it and the drone safely avoided the bear. Number 12. Migrating Stingray There are just some things that are better appreciated from a bird's eye view. Just take a look at this. This is the beautiful stingray migration. In this phenomena, as many as 10,000 stingrays travel together, and they do this each year. In fact, they do this twice a year. They usually migrate in huge groups, and it's impossible not to spot them. If you ever happen to witness this in real life, you would say that nature is incredible. 
Researchers believe that stingrays migrate because of the seasonal changes in water temperature as well as the sun's orientation. And so twice each year, these magnificent creatures head to their new feeding grounds, only to return to warmer water as the seasons change. I know it might be tempting to try and swim with these creatures, but only professionals can try to attempt such a difficult feat. You see, they might be impressive looking, but their sting can easily kill. Not everyone has the chance to witness this wonderful phenomenon in real life, but if you're one of those few that had the chance, please don't forget to share your experience in the comments below. Number 11. Hand in the Desert Imagine you're just wandering the desert and you suddenly see this huge hand sticking out of the sand. This is La Mano del Desierto, or the Hand of the Desert. It's located in none other than the driest nonpolar desert on Earth, the Atacama. Here, in one of the driest and most barren places on Earth, lies this hand that's about 36 feet tall. This sculpture is the creation of Mario Irara Zabel, a sculptor from Chile that worked on it in 1992. Just as how the hand is alone in the middle of nowhere, Mario created the hand to represent human loneliness, torment, and fragility. It's an homage to the human soul's weaknesses against all of the suffering in life. Its meaning is pretty deep, and many people all around the globe find this hand sculpture weirdly impactful, although spotting it in the middle of the desert might be creepy. Over the years, the hand has been graffitied and painted by visitors that wanted to leave their marks behind after visiting the hand. Some call these handwritings and paintings artistic vandalisms, and personally, they just add a whole new meaning to the sculpture. What's more is that apparently the artist doesn't really mind these handwritings and paintings, but the hand is still restored several times every other year. Number 10. Pink Rabbit Unless you have a phobia of stuffed toys, you really don't have any reason not to like cute plushies. And so when Haas, the enormous pink stuffed bunny, was placed atop a hill in the Piedmont region of Italy, all the locals were pleasantly surprised. Haas just didn't drop from the sky, although it might look like it. After all, the pink bunny is laying on the ground with his limbs splayed across and his supposed guts made out of fluffy material spilling out of him. Haas, which is the Italian word for hair, is a 200-foot-long stuffed pink rabbit created by Gelatin, a group of artists from Vienna. Haas was supposed to be an outdoor sculpture made for tourists to snuggle after reaching the spot on the hill. After all, the bunny rests 5,000 feet up on the hilltop. Haas is, or rather was, 20 feet thick, and he was made of wool, so he was pretty soft. Some people found Haas adorable, but some people also found him weird and creepy. Furthermore, to most people, it almost felt as if Haas appeared overnight with no one noticing. He was supposed to be something that people could visit for years to come. The creators expected him to last until 2025, but sadly, Haas decomposed in 2016. The hill where he was first installed also became his final resting place. It's quite sad that we won't ever have the chance to see Haas in real life, but who knows? Maybe someone out there will try to recreate him, or they might build a new gigantic rabbit. Number 9. Chocolate Hills You might be wondering, what exactly are the Chocolate Hills? No, they're not really made out of chocolate. In one province in the Philippines, you can see this strange and bizarre sight. As many as 1,776 hills are spread over an area of over 20 square miles, and they're pretty impressive to look at. During the rainy season, most of these hills are covered in green grass, but during the dry season, most of them turn brown, hence the name. Over the years, this site has been one of the most visited tourist spots in the country. Aside from the color, it's pretty impressive to see more than a thousand hills just bunched together in one area. This landmark has inspired many legends. One tells the story of two giants fighting each other, and in the heat of the fight, they started throwing stones to harm each other. Those stones became the hills that we see today. Another famous legend said that a giant once fell in love with a human, but after witnessing the death of his beloved, he wept, and his tears soon became the chocolate hills. Of course, these are only legends but I think that the stories behind each place make them all the more interesting. Number 8. Lover's Island This island is located near the coast of Taranj, Croatia. It's just 164 feet wide at its widest, but what makes it special is its incredible shape. It's shaped just like a perfect heart, and so it was nicknamed the Lover's Island. 
This island is perhaps the biggest and the most accurately heart-shaped in the entire world, and it became recognized all over the world in 2009. Before, it was covered with green trees, making the island look more incredible. The abundance of trees added more charm to the island. However, the island today isn't the green land it was before. The island was bought by Tonji Juresco, who realized that the heart-shaped island might be profitable. The island's trees were cut to be replanted once again. In the future, a chapel will be erected and trees will be planted to bring back the foliage and attract tourists once again. The heart-shaped island might look barren and broken right now, but this just shows that maybe sometimes all you need is to wait and soon enough things will be better once again. A few years from now, this island will surely be the green paradise it was before. Number 7. Hot Springs of Pamukkale To people that don't know about this place, the hot springs of Pamukkale look like something out of a sci-fi or fantasy movie. The white land, the blue waters, this whole area looks like something out of a dream. Pamukkale was given the nickname Cotton Castle. It's located in the Denizli province of southwestern Turkey, and it's famous for its thermal spring water. The white ground that can be found in this area is actually white limestone shaped over hundreds to thousands of years by the calcite-rich springs. Remember what I told you earlier, the story of the place is what makes it more interesting. You see, not only is this area a beautiful tourist spot today, but it's also a very important historical site. In this drone footage, you can see traces of the Hittites, or Persians. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Greek city of Hierapolis was built here. You can even see the remnants of the ancient city, also called the Holy City. In this place, you can both soak in the thermal pools and the wonderful history of the place as well. This place has been chosen as a bathhouse for almost a thousand years. It once became a healing center where medical practitioners used the thermal springs to treat their patients. One pool here was even said to have been given as a gift by Mark Antony to Cleopatra. However, in the 7th century, an earthquake struck the ancient city, which sent buildings toppling down. The ancient city may not be here today, but the beauty and the history of the place remain. Number 6. Gator Hates Drones Okay, I don't know about you, but I find this clip cute and terrifying at the same time. I mean, just take a look at this alligator trying his best to look at the drone flying right over top of him. You can tell that the fella didn't want to let the suspicious-looking bird out of his sight. Perhaps he thought that the silly-looking bird could be a snack, but unfortunately it didn't fly closer to him. I'm not the only one who thinks that the alligator was kind of cute, right? Right? I do admit though, gators are pretty terrifying. They can be found in the coastal wetlands of the United States from North Carolina to eastern Texas. They're usually found in rivers, but they can also live in swamps, marshes, and lakes. Number 5. Bird vs. Drone Who would win in a mid-air fight? A bird or an artificial bird? Let's see. Okay, I don't think the drone stands a chance. Drones are generally safe to fly, but sometimes some birds might attack them because they're perceived as prey. As a bird, you would be pretty suspicious if you saw a flying creature with spinning wings. In their eyes, a drone is either prey or a vicious predator that could harm their young. Usually, you might see ravens, seagulls, hawks, and eagles attacking drones. Usually, the drone is on the losing end. I'm pretty sure that a lot of drone owners out there can relate. Many have seen their drones crash to the ground after being the recipient of the merciless attacks of these vicious birds. However, a crash drone is far better than injuring a clueless bird. Another thing about flying drones in a location where birds always nest is that the birds might perceive the drone as a threat and they might relocate. This may cause a huge disruption in their behavior and habits. If any of you have ever flown a drone and have experienced being attacked by a bird before, feel free to share your experience in the comments below. Number 4. Shade Balls Okay, now take a look at this image. You might think that this is again a picture taken from a movie somewhere, but this is a real photo. The black balls you see in this picture are called shade balls. They're like ordinary balls, but they aren't made for playing. They're round and they're small, usually about 10 inches in diameter. You can hold a couple of them with one hand. So what exactly are shade balls? These spheres are made from high-density polyethylene, or in simple terms, plastic. What's their purpose? And why do we put them in reservoirs? You see, these balls are highly effective in reducing evaporation by about 80 to 90 percent. The logic is pretty simple. Because of the material and their color, they effectively block out the sun. 
However, their original purpose was different. They were originally made as bird repellents, which is why they were originally called bird balls. Shade balls were created to keep birds away from toxic ponds near mining sites. And soon, airports used these balls to fill in ponds and rivers to prevent birds from visiting them. But in 2008, scientists modified these shade balls for another purpose. Most reservoirs have chemical treatments that might react to sunlight. These chemicals might create bromate after being exposed to sunlight, which is a carcinogen regulated by the EPA. Due to this, California introduced shade balls as a way to reduce bromate and prevent the growth of algae in reservoirs. This is on top of these balls being able to conserve more water by reducing evaporation. So now, whenever you see these dust-colored balls, you know that they're just covering reservoirs to save us more water and to make it safer. Number 3. Spotted Lake This place might just be one of the most mysterious and magical places on Earth. This is Osius, located in British Columbia. From a bird's eye view, you can tell that this lake is different from the others. It looks like it's made up of many round puddles, which is why it earned its nickname, Spotted Lake. This phenomenon only happens during summer, when most of the water in the lake starts to evaporate. When this happens, hundreds of huge briny pools appear, creating this polka-dotted area with yellow, green, and blue spots. This natural phenomenon happens because of the many minerals in the lake, including sodium sulfate, calcium, and magnesium sulfate. These minerals cause the spots to appear, and they're one of the strangest things you'll ever see. For many years, the people of the Osius first considered the lake as a sacred area, a place where people can get healed. The people before thought that each of the different circles has its own medicinal properties. Some people today still believe this, but the lake is now mostly known as a tourist spot. In the midst of World War I, minerals from this lake were used to create ammunition. They were all harvested by laborers who collected up to one ton of salt each day. Because of this, the lake allegedly lost most of its color due to mineral mining. Today, visitors can't get too close to the lake in order to protect it. A fence now encloses the area with a sign explaining that the lake is considered a culturally protected area. However, visitors and tourists can still appreciate the view from a few vantage points. Number 2. Drone Fishing as I've said earlier, it's no exaggeration that drones are pretty much used for everything nowadays. I mean, just take a look at this. This clip was allegedly captured in Shanghai, and it was made by people who couldn't leave their hotel. I guess they just got their drone, equipped it with fishing gear, and then surveyed the area. After finding a place where they can find fish, they just controlled their drone toward it and just fished. I guess this is the future? I mean, who knew that you could fish without holding a fishing rod? or even stepping out of your house. Perhaps some of you already knew that drones could be used as aerial scouts to get ahead of other anglers for the best fishing spots. It is a bit hard to imagine, but yep, fishing using drones truly is possible. Recreational fishers can even utilize the drones because they're usually available for everyone to buy. Some drones today are even created intentionally for fishing. They're made to be waterproof and they're suited to carry heavy loads of bait. There are even drones out there that can move underwater, armed with sonar and a light-up lure. Sounds like every angler's dream, right? Number 1. Mysterious Creature You should be careful when exploring abandoned buildings. Who knows what lurks within their walls? Luckily, we now have drones that can explore abandoned places for us whenever we don't dare to take a look inside them. In this video, a drone operator managed to spot a mysterious creature inside one of the abandoned buildings. In broad daylight, a few seconds into the video, you can already see an unknown white creature. Let's take a closer look. The creature is extremely pale, and it has long limbs that surely don't look like it belongs to a human. This is allegedly a creature that likes to hide from humans and live in isolation. If you ever see its face directly, may it be in person or a video recording, it will stop at nothing to end your life. I don't know if this is true, but certainly it's just a myth, right? Right? All of these videos are incredible. Okay, maybe not that last clip, but which of these did you like the most? Let me know about it in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.